In this video, I will demonstrate the usage of Process Runner's transaction, data extraction, and BAPI technologies utilizing the scripts which were created in Process Runner and then embedded in this Excel spreadsheet. From my drop down menu here, you can see that I have the option to create a new material running the transaction MM01. I also have the option to extend the material once it's created to a different plant. And then I have this refresh lookup option as well. What this refresh lookup will do is once I run this, it actually runs seven data extraction process files which have been linked together. And then the data from the data extraction is then used to populate the drop downs here so that the end user is able to select from the most relevant latest data in SAP in order to create the material. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'll create this first material. So this will be with the plant 1000. From the drop down here, I'm just going to select this very first one, create new material. Again, this is going to run the transaction MM01 in SAP. So we'll go ahead and run this. And then after that, I'm going to then extend the material to a different plan and I'll show you how easy that is utilizing the technology of Excel add-in which we have developed for Process Runner. So the official name is Process Runner Excel add-in and so that's what you see here this Excel add-in tab at the top of the Excel spreadsheet. When I click on that it gives me all of the Process Runner options that are available to me in the Excel add-in application. We'll just go ahead and wait a few seconds for this to complete its run. This is a log of the run showing me how much time it takes to process the transaction in SAP as well as my uh, time outside of SAP as well. And there you can see that the SAP messaging is getting populated now to the Excel spreadsheet here. So we'll be finished pretty soon. So there we had a total of about four seconds of SAP time. So here are the materials that have been created. And so now I can click on the Show an SAP GUI hyperlink. And this will take me uh, into SAP. And then I can take a look at that material and, and, and verify that it, indeed it was created. So now what I want to do is extend this material to a different plant. So in order to do that, I simply select from the drop down here. I'm going to extend it extend it to plant 2000 here. I'll select this, click on the drop down, and now I'm going to run the extend material to a different plant, which is again is also a transaction code MM01, but the script has been slightly modified in order to, to do an extension of the material. So we'll go ahead and run this. And as this is uh, finishing up, I'll just point out that I am using the run feature right now. Had I utilized the test feature, I would be able to test the data against SAP without actually committing the data. So if you do run the test, it will just verify that your data is in the proper format and won't commit any of the data to SAP. All right, so here we go. I have now uh, extended the material uh, to the second plant. So let's go ahead and Look that up in SAP here. I'm just going to type in the transaction code MM03. And uh, this time we'll go to the plant view here. So let me just scroll down here. We'll take the plant stock view here and click here. And let's take a look now. And now we have the material has been extended to plant 2000 after initially being created in plant 1000. So that's been an example of our transaction technology, uh, two process files embedded in this worksheet. So what we're going to do now is take a look at the second worksheet in the workbook here. So let's go to this download update characteristics tab here. Once here, you'll notice that my material numbers have populated from the previous worksheet. I'll just show you the formula that we use there. So I've got these material numbers and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to utilize the BAPI technology 
and I'm going to uh, download to this Excel spreadsheet the characteristic description and the characteristic name as well as the value. So if I click on my drop down here, I have this download material characteristic option, and you can see the BAPI that we're utilizing to get this information. So I'm going to go ahead now and select this, and I'll go ahead and run this. And this will bring me that characteristic description, characteristic, characteristic name, as well as the value uh, for each of these materials. And actually, there may be uh, a couple characteristics there uh, for each of these. And we're getting our messaging back here, downloading this information utilizing the BAPI process file. All of Again, all of these... Uh, scripts or process files as we call them were created in Process Runner and then utilized in the simple drop down feature in Process Runner we're able to embed them in this Excel spreadsheet. So here I've, I've downloaded the characteristic descriptions, the names and the values so now I can make changes to them. So I'm just going to real quickly change each of these values to 10 here and now I'm going to select the update material characteristic. So again, this is a second BAPI here. I'm going to go ahead now and run this. And now actually make the changes uh, to the values on these characteristics. So let me log in here. Again, the exciting uh, f features about this is we're doing this all from one Excel workbook. We have several process files, several scripts embedded in it. Makes it a very, very handy tool for a material master for, for creating materials as well as updating materials. And of course, you could embed any type of script that you wanted to in, in this process uh, or in this Excel workbook just by simply uh, utilizing that feature in Process Runner of embedding the scripts into the Excel spreadsheet. So here we go, we've got our uh, values have changed there. Let's just take a real quick look. This time let's bring up that, uh, that 702 material. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here real quick. And uh, we'll just get my username and password in here. Now I cannot bypass SAP security in any way. So if I was to put in an improper uh, username or password, then I would not be able to run any of these transactions. So you don't have to worry about someone getting a hold of the Excel spreadsheet and bypassing SAP security. If they don't have, have a correct username and password, if they're not authorized to run the transaction, they won't be able to process it. So what we want to do here is we want to look for the... So we're looking for the classification here. So I'm going to bring up the classification view and just drill down on this and here we can see the values uh, which we changed to and so that was the uh, 10 value if here it was as a 10 so there we have that value and we were able to change that for each of these characteristics now another uh, feature that we've got here is the ability to download and update long text and so this is the same principle here. I just simply would select from the drop down. I can select to download the purchase order long text. And uh, then after I have downloaded that, I can actually make changes to it just by clicking on this and running the update purchase order long text. So it will work uh, basically just like you saw here with this previous one of downloading and updating the characteristics. I'm going to skip over that though for the sake of time and I'm going to go over now to this material details data extraction and what we've done here is we've built in a pseudo table join and so I'm going to uh, utilize the data extraction process capabilities of Process Runner. I'm going to download material details from the uh, MARC table as well as the MARA table and so uh, what I'll do here is select this and I'm going to click the run here and once I do this it's actually going to first process the mark table first and then second the mar and second the mara table and this was all simply done by clicking the run button so what we've done is we've actually linked two process files here the first one being the data extraction from the mark table the second one being the data extraction from the mara table 
So we're able to get this information on these materials, populate it right to the Excel spreadsheet, and then if you wanted to, you could actually embed a second or a third process file into this particular worksheet, an MM02 transaction, uh, tr transaction process file. So you'd be able to download the materials with the data extraction files and then make the changes to these materials by clicking on a drop down and running the MM02 transaction. Now we haven't set that up for this worksheet, but you could very easily do that. So here we have our information first from that first mark table. Now we're downloading from the Mara table. And so we're getting the information here on a total of, of 18 records, 18 materials. There we can see here our, our second, there we go, the data is all filling in there. All right, so now we have all of this uh, information on these particular materials. Just give this a few more seconds here to completely finish. You can see that uh, most of this data has already uh, completed populating. And there we go. We've got a, a, a pseudo table join, the Mark and Mara tables. And again, if you wanted to run a transaction such as MM02, maybe change some of the information on these materials, you would simply embed uh, that MM02 script right into the Excel spreadsheet. And the last uh, tab that I want to show you here in this workbook, this is actually now uh, going to get me information on these materials utilizing our BAPI technology. So from this drop down here, you can see I have this download material details, and this is going to run the BAPI material get detail BAPI. So I'm going to go ahead and run this now. And this will also uh, give me information on materials just utilizing the BAPI technology as opposed to the data extraction technology which I used previously. And also you could do the same thing here. You could utilize this BAPI to download the details and then you could simply embed that MM02 transaction file in this particular worksheet and then you could make changes to the materials utilizing the MM02 transaction. And that would be combining our BAPI and our transaction technology. So there we here see uh, there you go we have a very very quick download uh, utilizing the BAPI technology very quickly able to get this information on these materials. And so I'll just scroll over here and we've got got our information and then I could update that uh, if I needed to using the MM02 transaction again if I chose to embed that in the Excel worksheet here. Well there's been a quick overview of our Material Master Excel workbook. I've shown you examples of utilizing our transaction, data extraction, and BAPI technology all from one Excel workbook and again each of these process files were generated utilizing process runner and then embedded in this Excel workbook. Thank you for watching this video and if you would like further information about our products please see our website at inaware.com. Thank you.